My name is Nora and I will be leading you through a 60 minute power flow vinyasa class today. This will be available for all levels. I will give you modifications and adjustments throughout the practice, um, but honor your body and I hope you enjoy the flow. Let's begin laying down on our back with a breathing exercise to bring ourselves out of our mind into the body and preparing ourselves for class today. Let's begin by closing your eyes and bending our knees, placing your feet hip distance on the floor, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Tuning in to the natural rhythm of your own breath. Settling here for a few moments. Dropping into the mat. Letting go. Relaxing the body. And just breathing. Let's take the right palm and place it on the belly. And take the left palm and place it on the chest. Make sure your elbows are resting and connected to the floor so there's no tension in the shoulders. Using your hands as a reference point, begin to feel and observe the inhale as the torso rises and the exhale as the torso collapses. Keeping your attention and awareness on the breath, using that as your anchor throughout the practice when our mind begins to wander, when we get distracted, or possibly even when a pose gets challenging. And from here, start to lengthen your inhales and exhales just a little bit longer. Creating a little bit more space in through the rib cage as you inhale, letting go just a little bit more as you exhale. From here, we'll take a nice deep cleansing breath together. Deep inhale through the nose. Relax the jaw, exhale through the mouth. Pulling your belly to spine, staying empty. We're gonna start with a chest breath. On the next inhale, breathe into your left hand only, nice and slow for one, two, three. You're gonna pause at the top. Exhale, let it go, three, two, one. Let's do that again. Inhaling into the chest for one, two, three. Pause. Exhale for three, two, and one. From here, we're going to bring the breath now into the belly. Inhale to the right hand for one, two, three. Pause. Exhale, three, two, one. Belly breath again, inhale for one, two. Think, push that belly out as you keep inhaling, three, pause at the top. Exhale, let it go, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna bring the breath into both hands. Inhale for one. Two, three, hold your full breath at the top. Exhale for three, two, one. Let's do this one more time. Breathing into both hands for one, two, three, pause. Exhale for three, two, one. Let's take a deep cleansing breath together. Inhale through the nose. Get as full as you can, pause. Now relax the jaw and empty through the mouth. Keeping your eyes closed, take the next moment just to come back to your natural rhythm of breath. From here, gently flutter those eyes open when you're ready. Bringing your senses back to the external environment. 
Let's release the arms. Take an inhale. Pull your belly to spine. Shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Spread your fingers. Reach back behind you. Stretch through the side body. And then on the exhale, you're going to heel till those feet apart so they're a little bit wider than the mat. And then from here, you're going to bend your elbows, bringing them in line with the shoulders, making stop sign or cactus arms. And you're going to drop your knees to the right side. Gently bring your gaze over towards the left. Let your knees be heavy, let your legs be heavy. Feeling the stretch through the front of the left leg. Inhale, bring the knees back to center, keeping your feet wide. Exhale, drop them to the left. Belly to spine and gently gaze over to the right. And when you're ready, bring your knees back to center. Healing, heel till those feet back in, hip distance apart. Straighten those arms all the way back behind you again. Pull your belly button in. Spread the fingers, shrug the shoulders to the ears. And then on the exhale, I just want you to push your low back down to the floor. So you're gonna tilt the tail, you're gonna scoop the tail, pulling your pubic bone up to your chin as you glue your lower back down. So this is gonna engage the core. From this position, take an inhale. On the exhale, push into both feet. As you lift the hips, you reach your arms up and over as your palms touch the floor as your hips rise. We'll do this a few more times. Inhale, rolling the spine down nice and slow. Your hips touch the ground as your arms reach back behind you. Exhale, lift the hips. Push into your heels and your big toe mounds as you lift the hips, squeezing your glutes. Inhale, roll the spine down. Last three, exhale, lift. Inhale, roll it down. Two more, exhale, lift. Inhale, roll it down. Last one, exhale, we lift and we hold at the top. Staying here, keeping your knees in line with your hip bones, really pushing into your big toe mounds, keeping the inner thighs engaged. At the same time, as you push into your heels, lift your hips a little higher and feel like you're squeezing your glutes. And then from this position, we'll slowly roll the spine all the way back down. And then from here, we're gonna pick our feet up and we're gonna find our dead bug. So you're going to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Wrists are stacking over the shoulders and your knees are stacking over your hip bones. We're going to flex at the feet, maintaining a 90 degree angle behind the knees. And then from here, we're going to inhale, extend your right leg forward, keeping your back glued to the floor. And then you're going to reach your left arm back behind you. So there's no space in that low back. Make sure you're pushing that low back down, starting to really fire up that core. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, left leg forward, right arm back. Exhale, back to center. Four more, inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale, left leg forward, right arm back. Exhale, back to center. Last one, inhale. Exhale, left side, inhale. And exhale. From here, we're gonna place the feet back down to the floor. Reach the arms back down by your side. Your palms are glued to the floor, the fingers spread wide. From here, you're gonna pick up your left foot, again, back into that dead bug position. We're gonna glue the low back down as we tilt the pubic bone up to the chin. And from here, we'll work through a single leg glute bridge. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, push into the left foot to lift the hips. Inhale, hips touch down very gently. Exhale, push and lift. Three more, inhale down. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, hold at the top. From here, see if you can straighten through that left leg, flex at the foot, keeping the hips lifted, pushing into your right heel and big toe mound at the same time. And then from here, pointing into that left toe, bending into the left knee, placing the left foot down with the hips lifted, and then slowly rolling the spine down. Other side, pick up the right foot, flex the foot, 90 degree angle behind the knee. Before we lift those hips, you're gonna scoop the tail, push the low back down to engage that core, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, palms spread, placed flat on the floor, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, lift for one. Inhale, uh, hips touch down, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Two more, inhale. Exhale, lift four, using that breath. Last one, inhale, exhale, lift. Holding here, five. Four, maybe extending that right leg all the way to the ceiling. Three, two, you'll point your right toes, bend your right knee, place your right foot down, lift your hips a little higher, squeeze those glutes. 
and then slowly rolling your spine all the way back down. This time from here, picking up your feet, hugging your knees into your armpits, gently releasing that low back, rocking from right to left, massaging the sacrum on the floor. And then from here, bringing your hips back to center, extending the left leg forward, pulling your right knee into your chest as you interlace your fingers on your right shin. Let's come into our first final twist of the practice, bringing that right knee all the way over to the left side of the body, stacking your hip joints, keeping your chest open to the ceiling, Extend your right arm out in line with the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Use your left hand as leverage on your right leg to twist a little further as you pull that belly button to spine. Come back to your back. Hug that right knee to your chest. Inhale. Extend the right leg. Flex the foot. Exhale. Extend your right leg forward. Inhale. Hug the left knee into the chest. Exhale. Squeeze it in towards your armpit. Really making sure that right leg is engaged. Pointing the toe forward as you hug the left knee in. Inhale. Exhale, spinal twist. Chest stays open. Left palm is flipping towards the ceiling. Inhale, one breath here. Exhale, use your right hand on your left leg to twist a little further as you pull your belly button towards your spine. Come back to your back. Hug that left knee into your chest. Inhale, extend both arms and legs back behind you. On the exhale, you're going to hug yourself and squeeze yourself into a nice tight ball. So you're going to squeeze onto the shins as you lift your head off the floor, pulling your forehead towards your knees. From here, you're going to reach your arms forward, keeping your shoulders and shoulder blades lifted off the floor. From here, you're going to hug the knees in towards the chest a little bit more and keep the knees squeezing together. From here, we're gonna inhale, extend the right leg only, maybe the heel hovers off the floor. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, left leg forward, palms stay facing the ceiling. Exhale, back to center, one more time each side. Inhale, right leg forward, keep those shoulder blades off the floor. Exhale, center. Last one, inhale, and exhale, center. From here, keep the knees where they are, release the head and the arms back behind you. On the exhale, you'll roll to the right side of the body. From here, using your left hand, pushing yourself all the way up. And we're gonna find a tabletop position in the middle of our mat. Spreading your fingers wide, stacking your joints. Wrists are stacked under the shoulders. Knees are stacked under the hips. Pushing that floor away so you're not sinking into the shoulder joints. We'll begin by tucking the toes. Lift your sit bones to the ceiling, look forward and push the floor away, extending through the spine. On the exhale, untuck the toes, scoop the tail, pull the belly in as you push into the hands, round through the spine. Again, tuck the toes, inhale, lift the sit bones, look forward, push the floor away. Exhale, untuck the toes, round through the spine, belly button in as you push the floor away. We've got two more, inhale, open it up. Um, exhale, untuck the toes and round. Last one, inhale, open up. And then exhale, untuck the toes, scoop the tail, find your spinal flexion here. We're gonna stay here for one breath. So really push that floor away as you spread the fingers. Tuck the chin a lot, look to your belly button. And now inhale, breathing into your shoulder blades, into the back body. Create a little bit more space with the breath. And then open the jaw, relax. Or relax the jaw here and exhale, let it go. On the inhale, come back to a tabletop position. Pull your belly button in with a slight scoop of the tail so that you have a flattened low back. From this position, we're gonna inhale, extend the left leg back behind you, keeping your hips square. Flex your left foot, so pulling the left toes towards the face, you're gonna also squeeze your left butt cheek. Try not to dump the weight over to the right side. From here, you're gonna push into that left hand so you can extend your right arm forward, bird dog. Holding here, one breath. On the exhale, you're gonna round your spine, hug your right elbow towards your belly button as you pull your left knee to your nose. Two more, inhale, extend it out. Exhale, pull it in. Create that space, really use that left hand to round the back. Inhale one more time, and then exhale, round. From here, inhale, place your right hand down, extend the left leg back behind you, squeeze that left glute. And then from here, hug your right knee in towards your chest. 
walking your hands forward, maybe one hand width, placing that left foot on the outside of the left hand. You're gonna gently rock the hips from right to left, starting to open up through the hip flexor. Bringing your hips back to center, keeping your left knee glued to your left tricep, you're gonna tuck your back toe, lift the back knee. Push your right heel to the back of the mat, engaging that right thigh, reach your left arm forward, inhale. Exhale, push into your right hand to spinal twist. Left arm reaches to the ceiling, ultimately back to your right heel. And then left arm reaches all the way up, place the hand back down to the inside of the left foot. Step your, step your left foot back to a high plank, pushing the floor away as much as you can, creating a hollow space towards the chest. Inhale, one more breath. On the exhale, micro bend those knees, lift the hips up and back, finding your first down dog of the practice. Spreading your fingers wide, inhale through the nose, relax the jaw, exhale through the mouth. One more time, big inhale through the nose, relax the jaw, exhale through the mouth. From here, we're gonna lift the heels only, coming high onto your tippy toes, and then on the exhale, we'll bend your knees, come back to our tabletop position. Let's do one round of cat and cow. Inhale, open up, extend the spine. Exhale, untuck the toes, round through the spine as you push into your hands. Inhale, come back to tabletop. Exhale, pull your belly in, push the floor away. Inhale from here, extend your right leg back behind you this time, flexing your right toes. And now reach your left arm forward by pushing into that right hand. Inhale, one count. Exhale, rounding through the spine, left elbow to belly button, right knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round it out. One more time, inhale. And exhale, holding here. On the inhale, place the left hand down. Extend the right leg back behind you. And then from here, maybe walking the hands forward slightly as you hug your right knee into the chest. You're gonna step it to the outside of the right hand. Your right knee is glued to your tricep, keeping the inner thigh engaged and very gently, maybe starting to rock the hips from right to left. Come back to center when you're ready. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Engaging that left quad, you're gonna try and lift the back of the knee to the ceiling. Push your left heel towards the back of the mat. Reach your right arm forward. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, spinal twist. Right arm to the ceiling as it reaches all the way back to your left heel. Inhale, right arm up, plant the hand down on the inside of the foot. Step the right foot back, let's find our second high plank. So again, shoulders stacked over the wrist joint. Spread the fingers as wide as you can, pushing your knuckles and finger pads into the floor. Finding a puff in the shoulder blades, pulling your belly button in. Shifting as far forward as you can onto your tippy toes, getting a nice stretch through the wrist. One more count here, inhale. Exhale, micro bend those knees. Feet are hip distance apart as you lift the hips up and back, downward dog. One breath, inhale. Relax the jaw, exhale. From here, lift the heels high, look forward, please. Start to walk towards the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through the spine, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Micro bending through the knees. As you exhale, hinge and fold forward as you pull your belly button in. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. From here, let's reach the arms forward as your arms stay close to your ears. Inhale, stand all the way up, scoop the tail, pull the belly in, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hand, step your left foot back only. Drop the back knee to the floor, keep the back toe tucked. Pushing into that right foot, inhale, we reach our arms up to the ceiling. On the exhale, maybe right fingertips come down towards the floor. Keeping the chest open, reach your left arm up and over, stretching through the left side. One more count, inhale. On the exhale, bring your left hand back down on the outside of your foot. From here, we're going to extend the hips back or shift the hip, hips back. As you extend that right leg, you're going to pull your right toes to the ceiling. Inhale, one breath into the right hamstring. Exhale. 
Inhale, shifting back forward. Plant the hands under the shoulders, lift the back knee, step the right foot back, high plank. Inhale, one breath. On the exhale, you can use your knees. So you can either drop your knees to the floor and then bend the elbows as you lower yourself down to the floor or keep your knees lifted and lower down in one straight line. Pointing into the toes, lifting the knees, engaging the quads. You're gonna tense your fingers on the top corners of the mat. On the inhale, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, pull your belly to spine as you lift up, cobra. Exhale, you're gonna fold back down nice and slow. One more time, inhale, lifting the chest, squeezing the glutes to protect the low back. And then exhale, we fold. From here, placing your hands underneath your shoulders. On this round, we'll push ourselves through a tabletop to tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, finding a downward dog, holding for three, holding two. On one, let's lift the heels high, look forward again, making your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. Push into the feet, reach the arms forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down through center. Other side, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we hinge and fold. Keeping a little bend in the knees. Inhale, lift to lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands down first, then step your right foot back making sure your feet are hip distance apart. Let's drop the back knee to the floor, keeping the back toe tucked. We'll push into that left foot to reach the arms up and see if you can stack the shoulders over the hip bones. On the exhale, left fingertips come down, reaches towards the floor, it's okay if you don't get there. The intention is there, and then reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, and maybe a slight lean over towards the left. Taking a nice stretch through the right hip flexor. One more breath, inhale. On the exhale, releasing both hands back down, shifting the hips back, straightening the left leg, pulling the left toes up. Holding here for three, two, on one, shift forward. Plank the hands, lift the back knee, step the left foot back, high plank. From here, we inhale, shift forward. On the exhale, drop the knees to the floor, untuck the toes. Let's peel the eyes and the elbows forward. And we're gonna work through six modified tricep push-ups just to warm up the upper body for our chaturangas. On the inhale, bend the elbows as they squeeze to your side ribs. Exhale, push up. Five more, inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Three. Two. Last one. And one. From here, tuck the toes. Straighten the legs, find your high plank, push and find a puff in the shoulder blades. Now from here, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, pull through, up dog. On the exhale, lift your hips up and back. Finding your down dog for five, four, three, two. Lift the heels on one, look forward, walk to the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms forward, push into the feet as you stand up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands down through center. Inhale, reach the arms up, Surya Namaskara A. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step your left foot back, hip distance apart. Let's pivot that left heel in 45 degrees. Pushing into both feet, inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. So think about pulling your left hip forward, right hip back, squaring off the hips. Belly button pulls to spine. Shine the heart open to the ceiling as you reach your palms together overhead. One breath here. On the exhale, release the hands down, back behind you, interlacing the fingers. Squeeze your palms together, open the chest. On the exhale, we hinge and fold, keeping your uh, chest off your right thigh, using the strength of your legs to keep you in this position. From here, we release the arms, swim them forward, spread the fingers wide, palms face each other. Inhale, one more breath. 
Exhale, push into your feet, lift the chest all the way back up, palms touch. On the exhale, lift the back heel to square the hips, high runner's lunge. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step that right foot back behind you, high plank. Holding here, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog for five. Four, spread your fingers, pushing into the finger pads and knuckles. Three, two, lift the heels on one, look forward, walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. Push into the feet, reach the arms forward, stand up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Let's keep going, other side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, plant the hands first, step your right foot back, hip distance. Pivot your back heel in 45 degrees, push into the feet. Inhale, reach your arms up. Pull your right hip forward, left hip back in space. Bending a little bit deeper into that left knee, feeling the work through the left leg. Palms touch overhead, push your palms together. From here, inhale, release the arms all the way back behind you. Interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms, open the chest. Exhale, hinge forward. Keeping your left knee stacked over the left ankle. Keep your spine nice and long, reaching the crown of the head forward. From here, release the arms, we swim them forward. Palms face each other, inhale, one breath. Exhale, push into the feet, lift the chest back up, palms touch. Inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee a little bit more. Inhale, let's pivot the right heel. Lift the right heel, find your high lunge on the left side. Plant the hands down, step the left foot back, high plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog for five. Four. Three, two, on one. From here, big toes come together and touch. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Keep the hips square. Inhale, lift the right heel, hug the left knee into your chest, step it forward to the inside of the right foot, pivot the back heel 45 degrees. Inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands. Step your left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, one breath here. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Big toes touch, re right leg reaches up and back. Hips stay square. Inhale, lift the right left heel. Exhale, hug the right knee to chest. Step it to the inside of the right hand. Pivot the back heel 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hand, step the left foot, sorry, step the right foot back. Shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog for five. Four. Three. Two. On one, lift the heels high. Look for it. See if you can keep the weight into your hands and tippy toe really slowly towards the top of the mat. When you can't go further, bring those feet together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. From here, reaching the arms forward. Come all the way up to stand, palms touch. Exhale, hands down through center. Moving through some Surya Namaskar V. We'll come to the top of the mat. Bring your big toes to touch with this tiny space in between the heels. From here, let's sit the hips back. Moving into Utkatasana, reach your arms up. On the exhale, glue those knees together. Pull your belly to spine, have a slight scoop of the tail, protecting the low back. Inhale, up top. Exhale, maybe sink down a little bit deeper, pulling your belly in. From here, see if you can shine the heart open to the ceiling. Palms come together overhead, inhale. Exhale, sit a little deeper. One more breath, inhale. On the exhale, straighten the legs and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step the left foot back. Find your high runner's lunge on that right side. 
push into both feet inhale reach your arms all the way up on the exhale you're going to release your arms by your side finding stop sign positions with those arms so elbows are in line with the shoulders wrists are stacked over the shoulders and your fingers are spread super wide inhale one breath on the exhale push into your feet and use your mid spine to twist you over towards the right inhale one breath again exhale push into your feet and allow that leverage to twist you a little bit more now from here extend them reach the arms out to the side you can either stay here or if it's available to you maybe start to reach that right arm back and down to the outer edge of that left leg as you reach your left arm towards the ceiling exposing the left ribs inhale to the left ribs and then on the exhale we'll windmill the hands down and then from here we're going to crawl towards the left leg as we bend into the left knee finding skandasana straightening your right leg to right toes reaching towards the ceiling spine is nice and long either keep your fingers on the floor begin to reach your arms out by your side holding here three Feeling that stretch through that right inner thigh, two, into that left hip, on one. You can either keep your hands where they are or use your hands, but stay low with the legs, crawl towards the front of the mat, finding your high lunge on the right side. From here, we're going to step the right foot back, finding our high plank. Before we move through a flow, let's inhale, bend the knees only until the shins become parallel to the floor. Exhale, straighten those legs. One more time, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, straighten the legs. Either push back to a downward dog or feel free to move through a flow. Inhale, up dog, exhale, hips up and back down, dog five, four, three, two, on one, lift the heels high, look forward, make your way to the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. Pushing into the feet, reach the arms forward, stand up, palms touch overhead, exhale, hands down through heart center. Placing those hands on the hips for a moment, readjusting the feet, big toes touch, slight space between the heels. Standing up tall, let's have a micro bend into the knees, get the knees to touch. From here, we've got room now to slightly scoop that tail, pull the belly in. And now from here, release the arms, reach them up above the head. Exhale, sit your hips back, pull your belly in, and then bring your palms to touch. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Two more, inhale. Exhale, maybe push your palms together. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one breath. On the exhale, we forward fold. Release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step your right foot back. High runner's lunge on the left side. Again, making sure those feet are hip distance apart. It will help you balance. Let's lift the back heel high, bringing most of the weight into that left leg. Inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale, bend the elbows in line with the shoulders. Proud chest, but belly button pulls in. Inhale. Exhale, push into the feet. Use that as leverage. Twist to the left. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit further. Now inhale, extend the arms. Either stay here or on the exhale, you can begin to explore reaching that left leg. Sorry, reaching that left arm all the way back to the outside of the right leg. As maybe you reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale to the right ribs. On the exhale, windmill those hands all the way down. Stepping that left foot back, high plank. Holding here, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, stepping that left foot back forward to the inside of that left hand. Let's crawl to the right side, bending into that right knee, sitting our hips down into skandasana on the right side. Flipping the left toes to the ceiling. If your right heel can't plant on the floor, that's okay. You'll probably need to use your hands to support you here. Otherwise, reach your arms to the side. Chest stays up, spine stays long, holding three, two. 
on one. You can either use your hands or crawl yourself back, staying super low, pivoting the back heel, high lunge left side. Step that left foot back, and then let's push to a downward dog for five, four, three, two. Let's walk our hands all the way back towards our feet on one, but do your best to keep your core engaged, keep your hips still, and don't rock from right to left. Feet hip distance apart here, have a little bend into the knees, so you can really decompress that spine and let yourself hang over those legs. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine and fold. From here, we're gonna roll ourselves up vertebrae by vertebrae for three, two. Roll the shoulders all the way up, squeeze them back together and down. Let's interlace the fingers behind the back, please. Inhale, we're gonna open the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, pull your belly in. On the exhale, Micro bend your knees, hinge from your hips, and just come forward halfway. Keeping your hands connected to your tailbone right now. Pulling your shoulders away from your ears. We're going to take a moment here and just explore the um, weight distribution of shifting forward and back through the feet. So as we inhale, let's bring the weight forward towards the ball joints of the feet. On the exhale, let's shift the weight back towards the heels, feeling a little bit more of a stretch through the hamstring. Inhale one more time, shift the weight forward, feeling the work of the quads to keep you stable from falling forward. And then on the exhale, shifting the weight back towards the heels, engaging those glutes and hamstrings. Now find your weight back to center. And then from here, we're gonna fold ourselves over the legs. If it's available to you, reach those arms all the way up and over as you tuck the chin, crown of the head reaches towards the floor. If this is not available to you, just keep your hands resting on your low back. From here, wherever you are, just release the arms all the way back down. Inhale, lift to a flat back. Exhale, fold over those legs. From here, walking your hands all the way back forward, finding another downward dog for three, two, on one. Lift the heels, please look forward, walk to the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly to spine, fold forward. Pushing into the feet, reach the arms forward, stand up. Exhale, hands touch at heart center. Place your hands on your hips. This time we're gonna separate our feet so they're hip distance apart. From here, we're gonna move through a little chair dance. On the inhale, we're gonna sit the hips back. We're gonna inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And don't straighten the legs all the way. Keep about a quarter of a squat. On the exhale, you're gonna sit your hips back as your ribs touch your thighs. Fingertips sweep the floor as your arms reach up and over your head. Inhale, fingertips sweep the floor again. Inhale, stand up. Not all the way, keep a little bit of the knees. Exhale, do this again a few more times. Arms up and over. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling nice and fluid through your body. Exhale. And then inhale, reach it up, staying here, sitting a little deeper into those hips. Shifting the weight to the heels this time, seeing if you can pick up your toes. Pulling your belly in, take an inhale, one more breath. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Now inhale, on the exhale, push into your feet, stand up, bring your hands to center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, fold, plant the hands, step the left foot back. And let's pivot that left heel in and we'll push into the feet, windmill the arms up, and you're gonna find a warrior two on the right side. Stacking your shoulders over the hips. We're gonna scoop that tail, pulling the belly button in, protecting the low back. As the arms reach to the side, making your hands nice and light, you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades and pull your belly button in. From here, keeping your right knee bent, let's reverse it. Left arm down, right arm reaches up. On the exhale, straighten that right leg, just come up to a standing position. Two more, bending into that right knee, reach it back. Exhale, stand up. Last one, inhale, reach it back. On the exhale, keep your warrior two legs, come back 
to a straight position with the arms. This time on the exhale, your right forearm rests very gently on that right thigh as the left arm reaches to the ceiling. So you want to lengthen through the right side of the body, reaching the crown of the head towards the side wall. If you want to challenge yourself, maybe lift that arm completely off the leg. If you want to challenge yourself more, maybe reach it up and over, finding a side lunge here, holding three, two, pushing into the feet, stand all the way up straight in your right leg. Left arm down, inhale, right arm up and back. On the exhale, come back to center. Keep a micro bend into your right knee. As you do that, you're gonna reach your right hand towards the front of the mat. When you can't go any further, placing your right hand down onto your shin. You're gonna spiral the chest open, reaching your left arm towards the ceiling, stacking the joints. You can either stay here, inhale, or on the exhale, you can begin to reach that left arm up and over your head. Using your right hand is leverage slightly to twist the chest open to the ceiling a little bit more. And then from here, left arm reaches to the ceiling, look down to the floor. Push into the feet, lift back up, bending into your right knee, warrior two. From here, windmill the hands down, pivoting the back heel. But before we move through our flow, let's lift the hips a couple inches. And this time you roll to the outer edge of the left foot, outer edge of the right foot. Pushing into that left hand, reach your right arm to the ceiling. It's almost like a, a modified side plank, but at the same time, you get a deep stretch through that right hip. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, stretching through the right side. Exhale, hips sink down, right hand reaches towards the left foot. Inhale, reach it up, find your high lunge right side. And from here, push into the hands, pick up your right foot, hug it into your right tricep. Holding it here. On the exhale, extend your right leg back. You can keep it lifted through the flow or you can put it down on the floor. Lowering down through Chaturanga, inhale up dog. Exhale, hips up and back down, dog five. Four. Three. Two. On one. Lift the heels, look forward, find your way to the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, a little bend in the knees, belly to spine, fold over those legs. Push into the feet, reach the arms forward, inhale, come up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down through center. Other side, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. From here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step your right foot back, high lunge, left side. Let's pivot the back heel completely. And then from here, pushing into the feet, windmill the arms, stand all the way up into a strong warrior two on your left side. Again, shoulders stacked over hips. We have a slight scoop of the tail, pulling the belly button in. Left knee is stacking over the left ankle. From here, let's reverse it. Inhale, left arm up and back, keeping the left knee bent. On the exhale, straighten the left leg, standing back up. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. On the exhale, come back to your warrior two, staying here nice and strong. Now from here, we can, we're gonna bend into the left elbow, gently resting the forearm on the thigh, and you'll reach your right arm to the ceiling. Again, working on lengthening through the left side body and being as light on that left leg with that left forearm. If you want a little bit more work, maybe you lift that left arm off the leg. If you want a little bit more work, maybe extend and reach the arms up and over like you're holding a beach ball over your head, keeping a bend into that left knee. Three, two, on one. Push into the feet, come back to your warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down, pivot the back heel. From here, let's lift the hips a couple inches, rolling to the outer edge of the right foot, outer edge of the left foot. So both toes are facing the left long edge of the mat. Pushing into your right hand, lift the left arm to the ceiling. Inhale, one breath. On the exhale, hips drop, left hand reaches towards the right foot. Inhale, stretch it out, left arm up and over, stretching through the left side. Exhale, back to center, find your high lunge on the left side. Make sure those hands plant right under the shoulders. Finding the puff in the shoulder blades by really pushing into the hands. You now create space 
to pick up that left foot and hug your left knee as close to the left armpit as you can. From here, step the left foot back. You either leave it lifted and move through your flow, or you can put it on the floor. Up dog. Exhale, down dog for five. Four. Three. Two. On one, let's lift the heels high, please. We're gonna open the knees wide, drop the knees to the floor, untuck the toes. Keeping the arms forward for now, please. You're gonna rest your forehead down. Let your elbows rest on the floor so we're in a relaxing child's pose here. Keeping your fingers spread, taking the next few moments to connect back to your breath. Observing any sensations in the body. Maybe observing that heart rate. Maybe even any emotions that have come up throughout practice so far. And doing your best to use the breath to allow you to let go of any intense feelings you might have towards any of these emotions or sensations that you have in the body. Continuing to use your breath to keep you grounded, to keep you centered and focused. We'll be here for two more breaths. When you're ready, you're going to actually lift the elbows first. So let's find an active child's pose before we lift the head. Spreading the fingers, using your hands to push your hips down towards your heels. Now inhale, let's look forward in between the thumbs. And let's walk our hands off to the right side of the mat. As we push our hips to the left side, stretching through the left body, inhale to the left ribs. Exhale. Inhale, looking forward, walking yourself all the way back through to the left side, pushing your hips to the right side, feeling the stretch through the right arm, inhale and into the right side ribs, exhale. Walk your hands back to center. This time walking your hands towards your knees, you're gonna bring your knees a little bit closer so that they're in line with those hips. Sitting your hips down on towards the heels, we're gonna inhale, reach your arms up over your head, interlacing the fingers. Let's flex at the wrist, extend the spine, open the heart to the ceiling. On the exhale, let's scoop the tail, tuck the chin, lean back, reaching your arms in line with the shoulders. Feel like you're ripping your hands apart, stretching through the shoulder blades, tucking the chin, feeling a stretch through the neck. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, open it up. And then exhale, round it back. Inhale, reach it up. Now from here, reach the arms back by your side. Extend your arms forward, spreading the fingers, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, coming back into a downward dog for five. Four. Three, two, on one. Let's bring our feet back together, please. We'll begin by lifting the left leg. From here, keeping the hips square, you're gonna look forward in between your thumbs. Now, just holding an integrous three-legged dog can be challenging enough, so you can either hang out here. If you want more of a challenge, maybe come onto your right tippy fingers. If you want more of a challenge, see if maybe you can reach your right arm forward, lifting the hand off the floor for three, holding a two-legged dog, two. Let's place the right hand down on one. From here, squeeze the left glute to open the left hip, reaching your left toes to the ceiling, pointing into the toes, keeping the shoulders square. You'll now bend into that left knee. Your left heel is dropping towards your left glute. Now from here, we lift the right heel high, hug the left knee into the chest, and then step it forward in between the hands. Now from here, we're gonna move through a little bit of balancing work. So let's begin by finding our way into a high runner's lunge first. On the exhale, you'll hinge your torso forward slightly, and your arms will reach back, palms facing the floor. From here, come high onto your right tippy toes. Most of the weight is on that left foot. From here, let's see if you can lift your right foot up a couple inches off the floor, keeping your left knee bent. Three, feel the work. Two, 
on one with control. Place your right foot down. Inhale, reach your arms back up high lunge. On the exhale, now we're going to spring off the back leg and we're going to find a, a modified warrior three. So fingertips are on the floor, right leg is lifted, hips stay square, right foot is flexed. If this is enough, stay here. If you want a little bit more, maybe lifting off the hands, bringing them to heart center, bringing your torso parallel to the floor, holding warrior three for five, four, three, two, on one. I want you to push into your left foot, super slowly start to lift the torso until the shoulders stack over the hips. Don't plant your right foot if you can help it. Pull your right knee up in line with the hip. From here, maybe extending your right leg forward, flexing the foot. And then from here, we're going to cross your right leg in front of the left. We're going to have a micro bend into the right knee as you reach your arms up. On the exhale, we'll hinge and fold, stretching out the work we just did. So let's reach our fingertips forward. Tuck the chin, bring your nose to knee. Again, right knee stays bent, left leg is straight, and maybe shifting the weight back into the heels. Feeling the stretch through the outer left hip, through the outer left thigh. Holding here, one more breath, inhale. And exhale. On the inhale, I want you to push into your feet, reach your arms back up. Exhale, bring your hands back down to heart center. You're going to lift your right heel as you push into the ball joint of the right foot. Make sure now you've got a little micro bend back into that left knee to support you as you bring your right knee back up in line with the hip. From here, super slowly, we kick ourselves back into warrior three. And then from here, we step the right foot back with control. This time your feet are in a shorter stance, maybe about three feet apart. And we'll straighten both legs. Inhale, reach both arms up. On the exhale, you're going to pivot your back heel, drop the right heel to the floor. And then on the exhale, we're going to fold forward and find pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, you're going to pull your belly in, round through the spine, bringing your nose to your left knee. Feeling the stretch now through the back of the left leg for five. Actively pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward. Four, three, two, on one. Let's look forward, lift the back heel, pivot the right heel in so the hips are completely square and see if you can step your left foot back, find your down dog. Inhale, lift the heels, ripple the spine forward, find a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. For five, four, three, Two, let's move through the other side. So let's bring our big toes to touch to begin. Let's start first by reaching the right leg up and back behind us. Foot flexed, hip square. Let's look forward now in between the hands. You either stay here or come onto the left tippy fingers. Let's start here first. And then from here, you can begin to lift that left hand, reaching it forward for five, four, three, Two, plant the left hand down on one. Coming back to your three-legged dog, mindfully here, squeezing your right glute, opening up that hip, reaching that right leg to the ceiling. Now we bend into the right knee, reaching the right knee to the ceiling, right heel to right butt cheek. Shoulders stay square. Inhale, lift the left heel high. Exhale, hug your right knee into your chest, stepping the right foot forward. Let's inhale up, find our high lunge to begin. Inhale. And then on the exhale, we hinge the torso forward as we reach our arms back. So remembering here, guys, lifting as high onto the left tippy toes as you can. You either stay here and work through this, or if it's available to you, maybe pick up that left foot, hovering it maybe a foot off the floor. Bend your right knee a little bit deeper, feeling the work. Three, two, on one. Place the left foot down. Inhale, reach the arms back up. On the exhale, we spring off the back foot, finding our modified warrior three first. Fingertips down, extending the left leg back behind you. 
You can either stay here or release the hands, bring, it up, bring them up towards heart center as your torso tilts forward and eventually becomes parallel to the floor. Five, four, three, two, pushing into that right foot, slowly standing up, lifting the left knee in line with the hip, pulling your belly in, shoulders over hips, don't lean back. Now from here, keep breathing guys, extending your left leg forward, hold it. On the exhale, releasing that left leg all the way back and down, shifting it back behind you. And then from here, stepping back, inhale, reach up, high lunge. Now on the exhale, let's plant the hands down, stepping that left foot in, pivoting the heel down. We're gonna inhale, lift to our flat back in pyramid pose. On the exhale, fold over that right leg, bringing your nose to knee. Holding here, three, two, on one. Inhale, look forward. Shifting the weight forward, lifting the back heel. Let's walk our fingertips forward. Take that left foot and we're gonna cross it over the right pinky toes, touch. Inhale, let's lift to a flat back. This time on the exhale, we fold, bringing our nose to knee. Reach those arms forward, tucking the chin, reaching the crown of the head to the floor now, feeling all of the stretch through the work on the outer right leg from the work we just did. For five, four, three, two, on one. From here, looking forward, bringing the hands under the shoulders. Let's push into the feet, stand all the way up, bringing the hands back to heart center. Let's lift the left heel high, pushing into the left toe joints. And then from here, you're gonna lift your left knee up in line with the hip. From here, we're gonna shift the weight forward, step the left foot back, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant those hands down, step the right foot back. Let's move through a flow. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog for five, four, three, two. Let's walk our hands back to our feet on one, nice and slow. Let's heel toe the feet apart this time. Having the heels almost as wide as the mat and your toes are slightly turned out. So depending on the mobility and flexibility of your hips, your feet might be a little bit wider, maybe a little closer. We're gonna to start to bend into the knees, making sure the knees stay tra tracking over the toes as we sit the hips down and bring our palms to heart center. So really focus on pushing into the outer edges of your feet, not collapsing into the arches. And think about ripping the mat apart with both feet so you can really engage the muscles through your pelvic girdle to keep it safe. We don't, we don't want to be hanging out into our, into our joints here. We want to be using the muscles to keep the hips low and to keep the spine long. From here, let's reach the fingertips forward. Tuck the chin round through the spine, looking towards your belly button. Hanging here, shrugging the shoulders to the ears, feeling a stretch through the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting the chest, bringing the hands back to center. From here, right fingertips come down, left arm reaches to the ceiling, a little bit of a twist. Left arm reaches forward. Now left hand comes down on the outside of the left foot. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling, thinking about spiraling the chest open. And then exhale, release that right hand down. From here, please, let's walk the hands back forward. Lift the hips high, come high onto the toes. Bring the feet closer together, hip distance, and then exhale, let the heels drop. Let's do a few rounds here, moving the spine like a wave. Lift the heels, roll the spine forward. As the shoulders stack over the wrists, sink your hips down, squeeze your bum as you pull the chest through. Exhale, tuck the chin to chest, lift the hips up and back, down dog. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift the heels, roll forward. Exhale, hips sink. Chest pulls through, look forward. Exhale, tuck the chin, puff at the shoulder blades, hips up and back. 
The last one, inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, drop down, look forward. Tuck the chin, hips up and back, down dog. Three, two, on one, let's lift the heels high on the inhale. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes. And let's take a moment here, placing the palms on the cat, uh, sorry, on the thighs. Closing the eyes, coming back to our breath, if we've lost it, 